guys, it's me Kylie. Welcome back to the channel for an updated current household for the Chesters. Who else, right? Who else? So Shari is now a redhead, I know. So this is the last kind of screenshots of her as a blonde. Now at the end of this footage or the screenshots, I'm going to actually have some gameplay footage. Now I'm not going to play a day in the life of, of one household. I'm going to go through every single household and give you updates along the way in game. So please, please, please stay tuned for that because it is getting good and I do not want you guys to miss out on any slight bit of information, okay? So let's just continue on. So of course Ryland has taken up the painting, Shari's been mentoring him. Now, <clears throat> This here is Ellie Paulson, okay? She was the little girl with the black hair and the red ribbon in her hair, right? Her and Ryland were good friends right from when they were younger, right? So I believe that it is Carissa's daughter's daughter, so Carissa's granddaughter, right? I'm pretty sure we'll check that when we go into game. So, of course, Ryland and her have been getting really close. They have been hanging out, going to the movies, the cinema, and they recently went out for kind of a date, but, you know, like literally, it's really confusing because Ellie, at the start of their relationship, well, not a relationship, but at the start when they were kind of seeing each other, they were, weren't official, but they were kind of deciding if they wanted to go out, whatever. She was really, really, really into him. She had the hots for him majorly. And recently, she's been really pulling away and being distant with Ryland. But I'll explain that in just a quick moment in the future screenshots because it kind of makes sense. So here they are just kind of kissing, being all cute together. They had a bit of a sleepover that night. And of course, they had a mess around, kind of woohoo, whatever the, whatever the weather you want to call it. And uh, she now, she didn't fall pregnant, guys. She did not fall pregnant because I just want to make a disclaimer right now. Ellie is not pregnant, you guys. So obviously they had their little mess around Ruhu, 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 So yeah, obviously there is a chance that she could fall pregnant at any given time. Now I have the MC command sent to modern. I've said this before in the legacy. So she could fall pregnant at any time. Now she's actually not pregnant, guys. She's not pregnant at this point in the current household. So Ryland was kind of feeling a little bit of burn because there's a screenshot coming up. She actually invited him out to, to for a date. And she left him. She ditched him. And, of course, he's feeling really sad at this point. And, um, you know, he, he just doesn't know her feelings. And he's just so confused because, you know, he feels like she's playing mind games and he's not into that life at all. He just wants to kind of move on with someone else, if that makes sense. Shari fell pregnant, you guys. Yes, I know. She fell pregnant. It was unexpected. And Rick's like, what the? Like, Rick was like, but we didn't plan this, you know. And, of course, Rick at this point is actually really, like, being cold and distant with Shari, I don't know what's been up, but, but like, you know, I'll give you an example, they were at a dinner table, like, at the dinner table, and, you know, Shari was like, hey, babe, do you want to pass me the gravy, and he was like, yeah, fine, and he, like, literally, like, passed it to her, and he's just been, like, really cold, distant, out at night, just doing things that you wouldn't normally do in a relationship, you know, just really snooty, I don't know, just really passive-aggressive, if that's a word to describe it. Now, I found out the reason why. I did. I found out the reason why. And you guys, please sit back and fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be a bumpy ride right now. Duh. Oh, pain in the heart. Rick has actually been seeing his ex-wife Harmony the whole entire time that Shari and him have been together. I know. Yep. But yeah, Harmony is now in a relationship with this girl that she knew back in um, university. And Rick just kind of got ditched by his ex-wife so obviously he's come crawling back to Shari and she's like what why is he being so nice to me now you know why is he being all nice to me you know he's been going out at night not coming home till three or four in the morning and he's just been really distant from Ryland and his daughter and now he's being nice to me what's going on you know and she's got these doubts in her mind she's been researching on the computer she hasn't found anything in his emails nothing on his phone it's just really weird so she's kind of just blowing off it blowing it off at this point not really kind of paid much attention to it so yeah that's an interesting dynamic to play so yeah can't wait to tell you guys what happens right so this is Ellie now she's actually confided in Shari they actually got to know each other really 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 well Shari really likes Ellie and thinks that Ellie is a really good match for her son you know Ryland and um you know she's been 
kind of a motherly figure to Ellie. Now, Ellie is in the household, guys. She's actually moved in because she's going through a bit of hard time with her parents right now. So she kind of wanted space and she moved in with Shari and Roland. Okay, guys, so here they are having a woohoo. And that is pretty much all I know in this current household thus far. So let's jump into game right now. Hey guys, welcome in to the Willow Creek map. All right, let's just get started. So I really want to just really quickly recap on where everybody is currently living in this current household and show you where and who is in which house. Okay, so let's just start with this side of the map. So over here we have the Kamenisky household. Now this is Rick's ex-wife. All right, this is her girlfriend, Tori Kelly, and this is Harmony and Rick's daughter, Ember. Now, this is where they live. Now, this house was actually made on the gallery. I did not create this house, so let's just go ahead and show you the house. So, this is the house here. This is a modern family home. It is a four-bedroom, four-bathroom kind of dealio, and this was made by Simi Sweetness on the gallery, and I absolutely love this house. So, this is their house. Now, I just also want to show you uh, Travis's house, because I believe that house was made from the gallery as well. Yeah, it was. So, <laughs> this is Travis, right? So, he looks a lot different than when we last saw Travis okay he's got a haircut he's changed his style and that is due to the fact that he's got a new girlfriend called Sadie Scott now they are obviously married now and of course Shari and Travis back in the day had Jackson who is supposed to be aging up now we'll go ahead and age him up that's all good I'll do it off camera now, I don't think they have any children yet. I think she's actually currently pregnant, but we'll check that in game. Now, as you can see, pay close attention to her trait here, non-committal. Mm-hmm. Wonder how that's going to play out. So, this house was made by... Let's just go ahead and have a quick look. I believe it was... Let me have a look. Okay. So, this is their house now. This is the Stonegate Small Starter by Sambu Cakes. Sambu Cakes. I, I hope that I've said that right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I totally just wrecked that name. But anyway, so that is these two current households over here. Now, of course, we have the Buckner household, which is Shari, Rick, and we've got Ryland, and we've got Ellie and stuff like that. Now, this house was actually made by Ruthless underscore KK on the gallery. Uh, yep, that's right. So, yeah, I think I've showed you guys this before, but anyway. Now, we have two parts of the household, uh, current household in this world. So, the first ones are the Sunbergs, which is obviously Duke's ex-girlfriend, Candy, and we have Connor and their kids. Obviously, Kim is Duke's daughter, um, so that is that. And then over here, we've got the Sosa twins. Now, this was actually the Paulsons, I believe. Yep, so we've got Chris Paulson. We've got Lucas, which is Kaylin's husband, I believe. And then we have Alicia Paulson, and then we have Romero. Now, of course, Jack Braxton and Chris Paulson, they are married. And, of course, we've got a baby in this household. Whoa, I really don't know. Now, these are the um, guys that are used for these high school uh, go-to-school mod. So yeah, they are still here, guys. They are still here. Now let's go ahead and travel over to Windenburg. All right. So we've got a few little parts of the current household here. Windenburg has three parts of this current household. Over here, we have the Bannisters, which is obviously Lillian, etc., and Brantley and Judd. And then we have the Chester Manor, obviously, with Owen and Alice and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Uh, and then also, too, Charles is actually going to be moving out, I'm pretty sure, soon. So he won't be in that current household now. But, yeah. Anyway, that's just a totally different thing to get into, which I'll get into soon. And then, of course, we have Duke over here, who um, has obviously always been here. Now, we have no other parts of the current household in any other world. None in Magnolia Promenade or none in Newcrest. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump into the first household which is the Kamenisky household and I'll be right back with you guys. So this is their house as you can see it is this beautiful huge like three-story house they are literally loaded right now 
Obviously, when um, Harmony went through the divorce with Rick, she got literally half of what she was entitled to. Um, now, she's obviously out here snogging her girlfriend, so we're just going to kind of let them be right now. Um, this is the inside of the house. We've got a nanny who's literally just having a, a bit of a bush session over here just she's she's angry for whatever reason so this is their lounge dining room kind of bathroom kind of dealio the huge kitchen now this is the first sim that i want to talk about so this is tori kelly okay now she is let me just show you she is a bookworm she's clumsy she's cheerful and she's domestic uh her relationship she doesn't really know that many people she's actually quite new to the neighborhood um she actually lived in windenburg for a long time and then she's recently moved to willow creek to be with harmony and stuff like that when they got in touch as you can see she did have a thing with rick they will always be sweethearts they will always have a soft spot for one another and harmony really really still is in love with Rick and you know she's actually um trying to pursue him further I know it sounds weird like she literally called it off when she got into a relationship with um Tori but she actually still loves Rick and she wants to actually get back with Rick in the near future when their daughter ages up and stuff like that it's totally twisted and I know it's weird but that's what she wants to do that is her endeavors Okay, so Harmony right now has really no other friends, really. I mean, yeah, she knows Kaylin and Connor and all that sort of stuff. Now, she actually did have a little bit of a thing with Kendall Lawson, as you can see. Um, they, they had this romantic little... They had this little romantic fling, I guess. Um, and, you know, it never really amounted to anything. She's actually an alien. And for whatever reason, um, Harmony was just like, nope, just literally ditched her at the post and she is now with Tori but as I said she wants to kind of uh, pursue her ex-husband which I don't freaking know what's going to happen you guys that's just another can of worms which I am just so cautious of so upstairs we have the rooms and stuff and then coming up here we have this little abode up here for the nanny she comes and stays over all the time and literally they have the nanny 24 7 because literally Harmony just cannot look after her daughter like she's supposed to i'm just being honest and, and truthful she doesn't have a career she really doesn't she just living off literally the divorce money so yeah this is this part of the current household um but as for our girl tori she's actually really head over heels in love with harmony you can see it in her eyes she just really really loves her and really wants to you know really just seal the deal i don't believe that they are married yet they are engaged, that's right. So they are actually engaged, and it was actually um, Harmony's idea, I think, to get engaged. Yeah, it was Harmony's idea. She proposed to Tori. Tori accepted with literally no questions, and, you know, she has no freaking idea about her, well, her wife-to-be's feelings for her ex-husband. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be really interesting to figure out that. As you can see, Harmony's feeling a little bit uncomfortable about... The thought of even them talking about marriage right now. So, anyway, this is this part of this current household. I will jump back into the other part of the current household, which will jump into the Scott residence. This is the Scott residence now, guys. There is not much really to tell you guys about this part of the current household, uh, but I feel like I should possibly just jump in and just show you a little bit of things or what has happened. So obviously this out here is our first sim in the um, current household. This is Sadie. Now she's obviously married to Travis, right? So they got married a little while back. They've been together pretty much for about a year now. And they've been married and stuff like that. Now, they've obviously just recently had Corey Scott, who is their son. Obviously, Shari and Travis, this is how they kind of link into it. Because Shari, obviously, can, do you guys remember they had um, Jackson? Yeah, I know. We feel. I feel like I haven't seen him for a while. So, Travis obviously has only eyes for his wife, Sadie. Um, you know, they are lovers and they're, they're, they're literally married. They're sweethearts. And, you know, he's head over heels for her. He absolutely adores her. Now, in terms of Shari and Travis's relationship, they co-parent okay for Jackson. Um, Shari hasn't really seen Jackson all that much because Jackson's just kind of gone on his own way. Um, if we go into his um, friendships, relationships, whatever um you can kind of see that they're friends but they're not like literally like 
best friends you know they don't know everything about each other you know what i mean it's just kind of like that awkwardness right now between travis and shari it's just kind of a little bit i don't know i feel like everyone's just gone on their own kind of way in this household and they've just kind of moved on and living their life but um everything is not how it seems over here we have sadie now her last name is sadie scott obviously because she's married now as you can see if you just look at her eyes look at her face there is more to her than it seems there really really is now if you guys have been watching this current household for a while you will know that everything is just sometimes too good to be true sometimes not all the time but just sometimes right let's just go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about so Sadie come onto the scene about probably about a year and a half ago. Travis and her were good friends. They met at a nightclub. She was actually at the nightclub doing DJ mixing. She was the DJ for the night. When these two first met about a year and a half ago, they actually were pretty, pretty good friends and um, turned into a relationship pretty quickly. When they first met, it was a physical attraction. They were very physically attracted to one another obviously back in the day when Travis had the um haircut just the real like business attire clothing you know she really found that attracted it uh, really found Travis attractive you know business suit and attire and all that sort of stuff you know he's a manager oh damn you know so obviously she was really physically attracted to Travis now obviously this girl um, there is more to her than meets the eye. You guys are probably thinking, oh my God, she's so pretty. She's so sweet. She wouldn't do anything wrong, would she? Would she? Well, if you thought that, you're wrong. Let me tell you why. Because she actually, um, yeah, she, uh, mm, yeah, guys. Damn. Romantic interest with Evelyn Friend. Santino Hinton, that's her sugar daddy. They are lovebirds, boyfriend and girlfriend, soulmates, but they are pretty good friends. She's also gotten a thing literally recently with Annette Curry. They are again lovebirds. Now, this girl has actually been doing um, a lot of dodgy business behind Travis's back. Now, obviously, she has a sugar daddy, right? And she's been asking him for a lot of money to go buy some clothes, to get tattoos done. How else do you guys think that she afforded all of these tattoos and these clothes, right? How do you think she can afford to buy the hottest DJ gear, right? I mean, Travis does have a lot of money. And as you can see, they've got 50K in the bank right now. But you can't tell me that Travis on earning 75 simoleons an hour is enough for this girl. It's not, right? This guy here that she has this romantic interest with, Santono, Santonio Hinton. The Hintons are the richest of all, like, in Willow Creek. They are the, like, they're even richer than the Goths. They are richer than the Goths. They're richer than the land grabs. They are literally just very well known for finance companies and all of that sort of stuff. They're just well known for that, right? So she's actually been seeing Santonio for a while like I'm talking probably for about a couple of years and Travis does not know any of this and um you know he has got this inkling of a feeling that something is going on but she's just kind of reassuring him right now that things are just great you know things I love you so much baby you know I will always love you you know how about we go to a base school base baseball game tomorrow and he's like baby you're just too good to be true and she's like I know, I know, I love you. And he's like, I love you too, baby. One day I'm gonna whisk you away into a fairy tale castle and I'm gonna treat you like a princess. And she's like, okay, I'm just going to the toilet. Like literally, anyways, Jackson out here is just kind of playing on the monkey bars. In terms of his grade, he's still a grade A, he's still a pretty good boy at the end of the day. Now he's actually due to age up like now um he's actually been i'm not gonna lie he's actually been pretty neglected you guys he's really really fallen out of touch with his mum. he's fallen out of touch with his dad you know they're just friends they're not they don't have that connection you know they really do not he's actually really really close to ryland and ryland has actually been there for him more than his own father which is really really sad jackson actually sees ryland now as a 
like a big brother, but also a fatherly role in his life. A fatherly? Is that right, guys? Am I saying that right? Like, as a father figure in his life. And I know that sounds kind of weird considering they're brothers, but... He looks up to him, Jackson and Rylan go fishing together and they do a lot of things together. But I really am just really shocked with the way Sadie has kind of gone behind Travis's back with things. I feel like in my heart of hearts, the only reason why Sadie agreed to have a baby with Travis was to try and kind of not get his suspicions up you know i feel like this child is just a way for sadie to kind of i don't know just not let travis get suspicious about anything you know what i mean so this is this part of the current household guys there's not really much all happening at the moment obviously sadie's doing 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 things behind travis's back and uh she will get caught out i know she will but it's just a matter of time really anyways guys i am going to jump on into the next current household which i'm gonna jump over to windenburg Guys, I know I said I was going to jump into Windenburg, but first I just want to quickly just fill you in on what has happened in Oasis Springs. Obviously the Sosa twins um, are the um, Paulson family, so there's not really much going on there at the moment. Obviously um, they're not really in this current household, they're just kind of here. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and just set them as if I was not playing them. So yeah, that is that. So we've got this household, which is the Sunbergs. Now this has Candy, it has Connor, Rodney, and Kim, which is Duke and uh, Candy's baby, right? You guys with me? I hope that you guys are staying with me, right? So there's not really much been happening in this current household. To be honest, I have not been into this current household to play with them. So we're just going to leave them and we're of course going to go in to Windenburg now. Welcome into the Bannister Boys now. So this is, of course, Brantley, which is Lillian's fiancé. Now, they are not married yet. I know they were supposed to get married uh, by now, but they are still not married. They're just kind of taking their time. And as you can see, he's just pulling a really, really, really funky face. So I'm going to take a screenshot. All right. So right now, things... <laughs> <laughs> things are just as good as uh pie really i mean there's not much really to fill you guys in on you know um brantley is head over heels in love with his what well, wife to be i should say lillian who is just going to the toilet right now she's she's pretty good she obviously has no other relationships right now marcos was a thing but she obviously just she honestly is not seeing Marcos, guys. That's I know it's his lovebirds. She needs to call it off, you know, but there's really nothing there, you know. They're just, it's kind of like an old flame that really just never kind of got addressed, if that makes sense. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, and then we have Judd, who is actually out here. Now, guys, I am really, really sad about this. I had no control over this. I was not playing these guys. Uh, and obviously... I have the MC command mod in, so obviously it's kind of like a little bit where the Sims can just do what they please. And while I was playing off camera, we had Jose Mahone do something that I am not happy and proud of. Um, she actually hooked up one night with Duke. I know. She actually hooked up with Duke one night and they were literally making out, kissing. They went back to Duke's house, and Duke was like, whoa, whoa, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I I can't. I can't do this, Jose. I can't, right? So Duke called it off. They literally have no thing right now, like no thing going on. But, you know, Duke felt really bad because he's still in love with Shari, and I'll get into that really soon because that's the next current household to go into, like the next part of the current household, I should say. So, um, yeah, she's still, you know, engaged to Judd. They have no intentions of getting married right now. This girl was transparent and has actually just recently told um, her, uh, her partner Judd about the affair with Duke. You know, there was a lot of trust broken down, a lot of things that, you know, Judd thought that never really happened, that happened. He's still trying to gain her trust back and, you know... Um, Wait, I, I mean, she's trying to still gain his trust back. I said that the wrong way. But yeah, in terms of Pedro, you know, he is just still a little shy little boy. He's a grade C. He's not doing all that well in school right now. He's actually really struggling. But yeah, so in terms of their relationship, they're just kind of working things out, Judd and Jose. They're just kind of 
trying to get back on track. You know, they're going in cu into couples counseling right now. So Jose and Judd actually have Jean, they have Lane, and then recently they have Lee Ann. So they've got three kids. Obviously, Brantley and Lillian only have Pedro as their son. Um, obviously, Lillian has Charles and Shari and all that, but, you know, just in this current household. But yeah, guys, there's not much really to tell you other than the fact that Jose has kind of... She hasn't slept with Duke, but she's just kind of hooked up with Duke and they've totally called it off now. So pretty much that is all that has happened in this part of the current household. What I'm going to do now is jump into Duke's household. Welcome into Duke's household, guys. So right now, there is only Duke in this household. Uh, there is really not much to tell you guys other than the fact that he obviously had a little bit of a um, hookup with Jose Mahone, which is obviously Judd's fiance. We know that because uh, we, we saw that in the last household, which we went to. Now, Duke has actually been really, really busy with work. He is still a pro gamer. He actually makes 213 simoleons an hour. As you can see, he's pretty, pretty well off. Um, he's actually doing really well for himself. Um, but he's actually been feeling really depressed lately, um, ever since Shari left. He's actually been feeling really depressed, and he's been through a bout of depression, and uh, he's getting through it, he's coming through the other side, and he's just really not coping in terms of his feelings. He is so mixed up about the way he feels about Shari right now as you can see despised best friends just friends awkward soulmates you know there is this all these feelings that he's having uh, uh, for her he just really really wants her back he wants he, he wants her back guys and, and is what I'm trying to say uh the relationship between him and Rylan right now his son are really good you know he still sees Rylan around and you know he's really proud of his son for getting a new girlfriend all that sort of stuff which we know is Ellie obviously and uh he's just really happy with his son you know the way he's taking on the painting you know Shari's been in touch in regards to you know, taking Ryland out to the gym, you know, starting up sessions with his son. And, um, you know, he's really, really, really looking forward to that. So in terms of his you know, relationships, his love life, eh, there's nothing happening. There's really nothing happening right now. There's just absolutely nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's quite funny, though, because he's actually still technically in a relationship with Candy. Like, because look, it's his girlfriend. So he's technically still in a relationship with her. I need to kind of just adjust that. They have broken up guys they're not boyfriend and girlfriend it's just I haven't kind of actually done that so pretty much this is this part of the household I think that Duke um is going to be arranging with Shari in the next which will be in the next day in the life of uh he's going to be going out for dinner with Shari because she's promised him that they were going to go out for dinner so in the next update guys we will be having the dinner party which is the first time Duke and Shari will be alone together and they'll be going out for dinner and drinks to pretty much just kind of celebrate life and you know moving on and closure and just really starting to hopefully in Duke's eyes hopefully in Duke's eyes he's going to get the woman that he loves back and he's going to do anything that he can to get her back and if that means breaking some 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 boundaries uh, and, and literally pissing Rick off. That's what he's going to do. That's what he's going to do. Now, why can he not get up to go to the toilet? Uh, is it because the couch is in the way? Uh, let's just quickly have a look, guys. No. He should be able to get up here. Let me just go up here really quick. There we go. All right, there we go, Duke. All right, guys, so I'm going to jump in to the Chester Manor now. So I'll see you guys when we arrive at the Chester Manor. Righty-o, guys. So welcome to the Chester Manor. Right, so let's just go ahead and talk about Owen really quickly. Who is just sitting here at the table demanding of Alice, his girlfriend, to get him a drink? 
I know, seriously. I just, ugh, even the sight of this guy just makes me want to barf. Uh, anyway, so Owen has been, uh, yeah, typical Owen, right? Owen being Owen, guys. You know Owen, right? Mm-hmm, Shari's dad. He has been quite the, quite the... Quite the guy, quite the gentleman, really, hasn't he? <laughs> so he had a thing with Bella, he had a thing with Jasmine and Jocelyn. Uh, he had a thing with Lillian. Obviously, they're divorced now. They're totally just not on speaking terms at all. Um, but for once, Owen is actually trying to stay committed to Alice Todd, his girlfriend, which is obviously this girl right here. So for once in his life, he's actually trying to stay faithful. He really, really likes Alice, but he doesn't want to get married to her. He doesn't want to get married. He doesn't want to be anything more than just, I guess, friends with benefits. Um, I know they're boyfriend and girlfriend, but to be honest, Owen just sees her as friends with benefits, really. The only reason why she's here is because she needs the money and she literally just loves Owen you know she she really does and uh to be honest guys she thinks that she loves Owen but guys she doesn't know anything about Owen she really does not know anything about Owen who he truly is the thing is Owen knows more about Alice than she does him but the only true reason why she is actually here yeah okay she needs the money but guys <laughs> guys she has some really, really bad intentions and I'm not going to tell you what exactly she plans on doing because that would be telling, right? That would be telling. This girl um, has it all planned out. She has everything planned down to the wire, what she is going to do to this man and she knows it all too well. I mean, guys, I will give you an, I'll give you an, I'll give you a hint, right? I'll give you a hint. She's a chief. That's the hint that I'm giving you. But as for Charles, he's actually pretty good right now. Um, you know, he is still a teenager, but of course he will be aging up like literally soon. There's a lot of Sims that need to be aged up in this current household that I really haven't done. But Charles is actually going to be moving out um, of this Chester Manor, which Owen is actually really, really pissed off about. As you can see, their friendship is just non-existent. He just kind of knows Charles as his son, and I know that sounds really, really sick and twisted, but he doesn't see him as his son. He actually sees him as just an extension of himself rather than his son, who he loves truly and really cares about. He just sees him as an extension of himself and wants Charles to follow in his footsteps, take on the Chester Manor and really, really get stuck into a career, find a wife, marry her, and make money and have babies, pretty much. But, you know, for, for Charles, he's got other intentions. He actually doesn't want to take over the Chester Manor. You know, he has seen everybody just fall apart because of this. He is not on speaking terms with his sister at all. As you can see, guys, acquaintances his mother non-existent he really just could not care about Lillian or Shari or anything like that um he actually is going to be moving on and he's actually going to be going to follow his dreams as a actor to follow his dreams to be a entertainer um right now as it stands um Charles has been going through a lot in terms of losing uh, Julius which is his grandfather right um, you know, he's, he's been through a lot and right now he's actually finding himself and he's actually done a lot of self-discovery in the last year. He's actually, um, really interested in pursuing a relationship with a guy that he's been talking to online and, he, you know, he's obviously really petrified about confiding in his, uh, in, in his father about his sexuality and who he truly is. As you can see, he wants to challenge someone to don't play Wake the Llama and he wants to freshen up in the mirror. So he He's really, really been finding himself and he has confided in his grandmother, obviously Annie, and, you know, she knows that her grandson is gay and she is so happy. She is really, really happy with her grandson. As you can see, she has a lot of admiration for her grandson and she really just wants him to be him. You know, she wants him to do whatever he wants to do in life and no matter what, 
she'll always be there for him. And I really, really admire Annie for that. I really, really do. I've always loved her. And I know that Annie has been saying to Charles that his grandfather would be really proud of him for being so strong to come out and be him, be his true self. You know what I mean? But as for Owen, he's got another thing coming. If he thinks that this girl is just going to bow down and do everything that he wants her to do, he's wrong. He has got a lot coming. And as you can see, this girl has got it all figured out. She has got everything well, that she wants right under her little finger. Right. And, uh, you know, she she's just... She's just waiting for the day to happen where she can just execute her plan and do it so very smoothly with no traces coming back to her. So, guys, I am going to jump into the last part of the current household, which is, of course, essentially the main part of this current household right now, which is, of course, Shari and Rick. All right, my sweeties, welcome back to the final part of this current household update. So as you can see, Shari is a redhead now and she's absolutely gorgeous as always. She's been really into her fitness lately, you guys. She's got really, really fit. But for whatever reason, Shari is actually feeling really, really tense because she has this feeling coming back that she just cannot put to one side. You know, why is Rick being so nice to her? Why is he being just so nice and just doing things for her and cleaning the house and taking her places and all this sort of stuff. Like, you know, he literally just said to her, hey, babe, what are you up to tonight? Since it's Wednesday, you know, I'm not doing much. Why don't we go out for, you know, dinner? I'll take you to the nice friggin' five-star restaurant up in um, Lane Road. And, you know, she's like, what? You know, okay. Yeah, that's, you know, she's like, okay, that sounds good, babe. But she's like, why was he being so mean to me? Like, why was he being so standoffish with me? I just don't get it. So she's going to do the one thing that she knows best, and she's actually going to go out running. So Shari is just going out for a jog to really start to think about why she's feeling this way. You know, her intuition is screaming out to her that something is wrong, and she just kind of wants to just blow it off, but she knows that she has to deal with her thoughts. She has to maybe go see someone about the way she's feeling. Uh, in terms of this current household part, they are literally doing really well with the money. They are close to a million bucks. And um, we have beautiful Ashanti Hope, who is um, a grade A student. She's off to school. And then we, of course, have Ali Polson, who is a grade C. Now, I honestly don't want her to go to school right now because, uh, you know, she's been feeling... Um, a certain type of way. Um, she's actually been feeling pretty sick, you guys. And absolutely, isn't she gorgeous though? She's so gorgeous. Anyway, she's so cute. What a cute couple. Anyway, so she's been feeling really sick recently. Uh, in the last few days, she's actually been feeling a bit queasy in the stomach. And uh, she knows that her and Ryland have been sleeping together. And she knows that she could possibly be pregnant. Now, I'm actually going to have her kind of just really quickly come upstairs. And I know I said I wasn't going to play a little bit, but I'm actually going to come over here with her and she's actually going to take a pregnancy test. As you can see, she wants to go to prom and she wants to lock a door. So she's feeling a certain type of way where she, she just wants to keep everybody out. You know, if she is pregnant, if she is freaking pregnant, what is going to happen with her and Ryland? Is, is, is Shari going to still let her stay at the house? You know, she's just kind of standing there, just kind of looking at the toilet right now, contemplating life about all of her life decisions right up until this point. And uh, she's really unsure. She's really unsure if she's actually, you know, going to go through with this pregnancy if she is pregnant. So how Ellie fits into the equation, she is actually Carissa's daughter, you guys. I thought that she was Carissa's granddaughter, but she's actually Carissa's daughter. I think she's Carissa's youngest daughter. Now, I'm really, really, really sad to actually tell you guys that that is not the only reason why Shari is feeling 
sad and, and upset. Her other best friend, which you guys know all too well who her other best friend was, Carissa's actually died, you guys. She's actually deceased. Um, I'm really, really sad to tell you guys she's actually passed away. She can't deal. She can't deal. And I think that is the reason why she kind of had to leave um, the household that she was in because her sister and her brother, which is Romero, were actually fighting over um, the parents' money, you know, the will and stuff. It was really, really sad and just so shocking. You know, this girl's only young and she's the youngest and she's really, really struggling with that right now. So that's why she kind of came to Ryland and said, look, I'm just going through a really rough time right now. I may seem distant with you. I'm not trying to be, but it's just because, you know, the death of my mum has just really affected me and rocked me. And of course, Ryland is more than happy to be there for her. Now, I need to check if they're actually in a relationship. No, they're not. They are actually just uh, seeing each other. So they're not actually official. I actually thought they were actually official. Hmm, that changes a few things. So I am actually going to just go and check out what Rick's up to. So let's see his relationships. So obviously there's nothing between him and Harmony. Um, they're obviously engaged, Shari and Rick. Um, they're due to get married very soon. I'm talking probably in the next two parts or the next two updates. But there is a lot happening. There is a lot that could change with this girl. A lot. You know, this could really rock this current household. Really, like, really change a lot. Really, really change a lot. Um, the twins. Okay, so I need to talk about the twins. So let's go ahead and go into Shari's um, tree. So obviously she has Kaysen. She has Carly Jane. Uh, so she obviously had Kaysen and Carly, they are twins. Then she had Jackson with Travis, Ryland with Duke, and Ashanti Hope with Rick. I know, I know. All right, so pretty much, guys, this is the current household updates thus far. I will be updating you guys in a week from now. Um, th this is just getting good. This is just getting real good. Okay, so the next time I talk to you guys, we will have a day in the life of for the Chesters. We will be going out to the restaurant with Duke. We are potentially going to be doing some wedding prep, and we will find out if Ellie, which is Rylan's other half, is pregnant. Oh my goodness, that is going to change a lot. I mean, a lot. You guys are not going to want to miss the update. Uh, next time, the day in the life of. Uh, that will be posted a week from now. So you guys, please stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications for the channel. And I will see all of you guys in the next video coming really soon. Bye, guys.